Hi, this is Noah from Scardest, and I'm here with someone really special. Hello! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Yes, oh my god, I'm so happy to see you. All right, so how did Petty Gertie and Noah Grumman's love story begin? Okay, you know what's really funny? It actually began with the advertisement for the festival Dong Open Air. This is this is a true thing. It's called Dong Open Air. It's in Germany. It's called Dong because we actually have like a little hill that is called Dong. So it's a Dong Open Air and everyone laughs about it. The whole English speaking world. <laughs> However, there was a, an advertisement saying that a band called Skardas was going to play there and they had a very nice little trailer video. And I watched it and I just saw this uh, this weird girl with kind of a, not mohawk, how, how do you call this? Dead chicken. Yeah, like really weird hairstyle. She looked so 80s. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just saw this and thought, well, what are they doing, like 80s rock or something? And I just listened to the sound and I heard the whole choir and then she's like singing like crazy and then she's growling and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I have to listen to this. <laughs> this is how I, I stumbled upon Skardust and then I listened to it. I actually had like the first the first time I ever tried a Spotify and uh, I tried like the one week for free thing where you can just see if you like if you like Spotify and I tried it for a week and the only album I listened for in this whole week was No way. No way. <laughs> and then, you know what I thought after that week? I thought, oh, this makes no sense for me. I'm just gonna buy the album on iTunes and just delete Spotify. And that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I annoyed everyone with singing along. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I got like a private message of this super amazing singer singing our really? songs. And I was like, who is this awesome person? I have to know her. <laughs> And the thing I did was just, I always tried to sing along to Skardust because even though it's prog metal, I love singing along to, to prog metal. Sometimes it's not a good idea, for example, when you listen to the bass and guitar solos, there's no way you can sing along to that. <laughs> and also there's no way to sing along to the lead vocals because they're too fucking good. <laughs> so what I did is I kept singing all the time and I noticed there was like one of many parts that I was not able to sing. So I tried to sing it and I didn't succeed and I was like, what if I just ask her about it? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so I recorded my singing and I sent it to her and I was like, please help me. I love your songs. This is the first time I hear it. <laughs> yeah, I was too shy before, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, you're a very shy person. It's known. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, so then I think uh, we just, it was just natural for us to, to bond, I think. And then we came to Berlin. And, oh yeah. my god, oh no! The wild times began right there. We, we met each other at a, a train station, I think in, in yeah. East Berlin or something. <laughs> and we were like running into each other's arms, hugging. It was like in the movies. Yes, <laughs> and then like, I think we talked for like five seconds and then you turned around and said you know what it feels like i've known you forever <laughs> exactly exactly yeah so and then um i think we went to your friend's place and we played together and i even got to touch a hurdy-gurdy that was not on the same day though well <laughs> okay <laughs> you have better no. memory <laughs> On the same day, we went to a shop that was just for like avocado milkshakes. And then we drank an avocado shake. I think you did. I think I, I actually got something completely without avocado and that was like so silly to go to an avocado shop and get something without <laughs> avocado. <laughs> I was like, why did I? Never mind. <laughs> I, I do remember that we surprised you with uh, inviting you to, to play with us. God. <laughs> oh my god, you know in the background it, it, it sounds like you have a chicken, but I know it's your cat, so... <laughs> yeah, it's Louis. Louis, come say hello. <laughs> Hi, Louis. Hello. So do you want to tell something about that? 
I don't know. It was just too crazy. I was too overwhelmed. I didn't know what the fuck was happening, and it was nice. <laughs> and then we did the cover uh, backstage for Sense of Time, yeah. which was a uh, hurdy-gurdy duet. Yeah, it's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Link here. Link here. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a vlog about this whole thing we're talking about. Link here. <laughs> there. After this experience, we said we definitely need to perform more together. Let's do a whole tour! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Something like that! Also, we said you have to be on our next album. And we started writing a song featuring you and yes. inspired by, by you. And it, it was very important to us to highlight you. I, I'm actually curious to hear your side of the story. <laughs> right, so there's someone in the background of Skardust who is a total genius. He does a lot in the background. It's Or. Or Didi. Uh, or Didi, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think we were on Zoom or on FaceTime, the three of us, Or, you, and I, and we were talking yeah. about how we're gonna make it happen to put the Gurdy into Skardas song. Because for a composer that doesn't know how the Gurdy works, it's kind of hard to compose for it. You no, know, because a lot of things might not be very playable, or you can do other things with the Gurdy that you might not have thought of before, yeah. or whatever. So we had a little talk about this, and I basically just said everything <laughs> that, I, that I liked doing on this instrument, and he basically put everything into this song! <laughs> and I, I have no idea how he did it, but... I mean, he had, I guess that's why the song is so long, because he, he just had like seven and a half minutes of Gertie Madness. <laughs> Bam! And Patty's voice also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's about right. I have nothing more to add. <laughs> and if it's not enough, it also features everyone in the album. The whole choir as well, and a string quartet as well. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it, I must admit it was a pain in the ass to record because it was so long. And for me, I'm just like more used to recording like, you know, three minute songs, maybe four minutes. <laughs> if you want to go absolutely crazy, we do five minutes. But <laughs> yeah, you have this seven and a half minutes, prog, girdy metal, just fucking genius work song. And it, it was just so much, but like at the end, you really know what you did. <laughs> you had this whole masterpiece. Oh my god. It was so crazy. Yeah, it was awesome, really. And, and yeah. I, I re I'm really proud that you invited me to this. And uh, it's really cool. I, I love prog metal. I don't think I would ever have the balls to actually do a, like a prog metal project because i rather leave that to the ones that are really genius about this. So this was like, I don't know, me getting the little, you know, bite of prog metal every now and then. <laughs> I just, I just joined Skardust here and there for the little bite of prog metal and I'm, I am a happy oh. person. <laughs> That's the best, like I can just <laughs> say, hi Noah and she'll be, yep, I rescheduled everything. We have Patty in the choir on stage in the recording and by the way we wrote a completely new song uh, hold on a second <laughs> and it takes it's a matter of two minutes and then you have like 10 more plans <laughs> sounds like me we can talk about the england tour about our friend the spider in the bathroom oh and this is something I edited out of my vlog and you were like, kind of like, not mad, but like mad at me. <laughs> and you said, that was the funniest part, you can't just edit it out. <laughs> no, because it was Mr. Spider. Yes. He was her friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's been one year. That's, that was the last time we saw each other, right? Oh God. It's absolutely sad. <laughs> Let's let's continue with the super sad part of our story. Oh no, 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 not the super sad part! This made us actually cry because it was very sad. Oh, yeah. Very frustrating. Yes. But let's let's be honest, it was not our situation was not even the shittiest out of all people out there, but no, it was no, shitty. No. It was so shitty anyways. We came back 
after the tour, really missed each other instantly. Uh, and then uh, like a month or two later, we said, I mean, we both agreed that you should definitely come to Israel. And I remember we said, okay, March sounds like a, the best time. I mean, it's the best time for you to come, March. Yeah. March 2020. Well, It yeah. sounds so good. I mean, yeah, March. That, that must be that time because, you know, then yeah. it's not summer. It's not, not like super hot in Israel. I can kind of survive. March sounds good. <laughs> it's good, like in the timing of the album. But then March 2020 came. Since the fall, we were looking forward to it. Yes, and we and were I talking about all my it. planes and stuff. Yeah, and we had so many plans. We had <sighs> plans to record you we had plans to do a show together in tel aviv yeah and like audio recording and then write the show yeah and, and a, a video with everyone in the album the I mean, we've big been... video recording yeah. like like over 50 people or something right yeah all all the participants and of the album like a super big location and so so many lights camera makeup people Everything was planned. And I remember even speaking on the phone like two days before your arrival, coordinating like every, like all the last minute things. And we were actually mid recording ourselves. We were just recording the choirs and the drums and everything was like happening at the same time. And then I, I guess 2020 happened. This woman here, she did everything to try to get me over to Israel anyway, so we st wouldn't have to cancel all those recordings and the show and the video and everything. Oh my God, we, we fought so hard. This is so incredible. And like you, you drove to the airport at least twice. Yeah, just to make sure that... Just, just to ask people. Yeah, what's where? going on? Because no one, I mean, yeah. now people know what's going on. At least yes. like in a way, they know what's yeah. going on. But when it just started, I mean, I'm talking, it was like the first or second day of the pandemic. No one yeah. knew what is well, happening. And basically I got a call, hey Patty, everything's cancelled. I remember that call. I removed this week from my brain. <laughs> yes, I don't it want was to. too traumatizing, absolutely. <laughs> yes. So the, the video we had to postpone, of course. Uh, but we kind of made everything else work after overcoming the big trauma. The show was interesting because I think actually you saved the show. <laughs> What you did was amazing. Um, you recorded yourself like a day before the show <laughs> playing playing your parts and you did you did it such in a like, gracefully and with humor and you played so well and you played recorded um filmed and edited your parts in yeah. in your song and yeah. in addition to that you wrote yes <laughs> a new song especially for like, the show yeah we're talking like two days of work <laughs> and the crowd went nuts oh um, Yeah, they loved it. I mean, and we, we also had to separate it to two crowds because we weren't allowed more than I mean, can people. we just talk about your commitment? Like, we had to make this show happen. <laughs> How crazy is this band? They even cleaned, you know, the whole venue, all the doors and the, microphones. the bathrooms, the microphones, yeah. everything that gets touched. And then they had their second show on the same evening doing the whole thing over again, just so yeah. that everyone could see Skarda's life that evening. And Patty Gertie, because we played your videos and played with you, and then you did a live part in both shows. Yeah. <laughs> and you couldn't hear the crowd, but they were, they were so much into it and singing along, and they really loved it, I think. Oh. And I think it was the last show before everything yeah. colla collapsed. And, and so, just so much respect and love for the fans. And then you had to record at home. Yeah, well, which, the thing is, it would not have been so problematic if, if I just had another producer taking care of the recording, but I had to do everything myself, which is yeah. fine. But you know, it was just a very long song, a very complicated song, and the, then it just gets so much easier if you have someone taking care of the whole recording part. Anyways, it was all fine and it worked out. Yeah, and then you were singing uh, 
Oh session. yeah, we did we did the singing session. Yeah, I uh, I I tried to 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 be there to support you. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me so many good and helpful comments and tips and tricks while recording, which was so good. And like I would love to have this like every day when I'm recording vocals. Like I want my oh. Noah here. <laughs> Well, uh, just call. <laughs> you did such an amazing job. I love your performance in that song. I know you've been through hell recording <laughs> it. I know. It was so but, complicated. <laughs> but it sounds so good. I mean, you sound so amazing. And I think our voices have like this natural blend. <laughs> Makes me really happy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the whole album to come out. October 30. Hmm, nice. I, I can't wait to see you all again. I've been missing you so much. And I hope that we can do the music video at some point. And I I would so much love to come to Israel and record with you that video and other stuff. I don't know. Ugh. You will come and we will see each other and we will do all of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. We have to. Even if we're like old grandmas at that point when the pandemic is finally over. Oh. Nothing will change, I guarantee that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Betty, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I uh, miss you. No, you're making it worse. <laughs> and thank you so much for contributing your amazing talent to our music. Thank you so much to your band and also to your choir. They are all so amazing and such nice people and so motivating. It's incredible. Like the stuff you tell me about them and you show me about them and whatever. <laughs> bye, Patty. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Bye bye. No, I miss you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. High five. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's try again. Our hands disappear. Okay, okay. Okay. What? Wait, wait, wait. One, hold on, hold on. Two, three. three. <laughs> this one was good. Yeah. Keeping this one. We're getting better. Yeah.